man. Mass Effect 2. Yo, okay, so this was the first Mass Effect that I ever played. And I remember that day like it was yesterday. Uh my mom had taken me to GameStop. This is fifth grade, mind you. Mom had taken me to GameStop. And because I got an A on my test, she told me that I could choose any one game from that store. Or from GameStop Rapid to pick and take home so long as it was used. I remember looking around the store, coming across Mass Effect 2, and thinking to myself, man, I don't want to play that game. It looks like it's for nerds. And I started looking around some more. But after like 15 minutes, she was like, okay, we're about to leave, hurry up and pick something. I wish they came back to Mass Effect 2 because I saw it was a rated M game at the time. I just saw it was a rated M game rather, and at the time, my whole thought process was, oh, if it's a rated M game, it's probably cool, like Halo. So I picked it up. And I remember on the way back home, I was reading through like the little book that the game that came with the game. If you guys can even remember those things. Like when it was detailing like the mechanics of the game, different classes, the powers that came with those classes. I remember getting really excited. I'm like, oh man, this guy game has powers in it? That's actually kind of cool. And deciding to play a Vanguard because it had the most powers out of any of the classes. So I get home and load up the game. And, and mind you, this is all happening at like 4 or 5 p.m. Central Time. I don't get off until the sun has gone down and come up again. It's well past 12 a.m. No, it's well past 12 p.m. rather. And my parents are like, yo, what the heck? I used to be sitting here this entire time. Go to sleep, bro. And it's just from the first moment I loaded this game, I was hooked on Mass Effect 2, the Mass Effect series, Bioware. This was my introduction to them. So this game, this game holds a special place in my heart. I'm really excited to dive back into it again. Now with the Mass Effect 2, or the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And I'm excited to have y'all with me. Hope y'all enjoy the play with me. Uh, but before we can dive in, we gotta go through the options. That's always the most important thing, getting our options right. Graphics. Uh, motion blur off. We sync off. Frame cap. That's fine. Build frame. Oh, we'll keep it on. Sound. 100%. Uh, no. We got sound effects. We'll probably take this down to like 50. Cause going off of Mass Effect One, this stuff gets loud, and I don't want to deal with that again. 50, we about to like 55, dialogue, 65. We see how this works. If it's too quiet, we'll raise it up. If it's too loud, lower it somewhere. So on and so forth. Controls, no. Okay, I can, I can rock with that. Walk, left control, okay. Sprint, no, ain't got no space. Melee, yeah, uh, that's fine. Mouse blend, wait, wait, where do I crouch at? They have crouching in this game. Oh, I don't think they do. Quick slot, uh, quick slot one. Mm, yep. Oh, uh, you will see how this works. Gameplay. You already know insanity. So we act quickly. Have to quickly be fun. On auto save on yes. 
Alright. New game. Import my MV1 character, please. Catchy Shepherd. Name Catch Shepherd rank 53 soldier paragon. Okay, yeah, he's pretty paragon. Survive. Oh, so sorry. I'm so so sorry. Okay, I love and miss you. Council is saved. Yeah, yep. Electronic Arts presents a Bioware production. Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Uh, I like his eyes. One month after the devastating get attack on Citadel, the galactic community struggles for build. The Alliance fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Citadel Council and earn humanity, humanity membership in their prestigious group. Now the Council's forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, the numerous machines that have eradicated all the organic civilization every 50,000 years, are. Oh, damn. Guys, I can't read that fast. I'm sorry. I thought that was good enough, but I'm not. Maybe in my head, sure, but allowed? Nah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did they redo the cutscenes? The Emission sinks active. Yo, they redid the cutscenes. Board is green. We are running silent. Yo. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Yo, yeah, they redid the cutscenes. I'm so stuck on that. That's course. so cool. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers. Yo, yeah, hello. Oh my god, Presley! Presley! Ugh. Yo! Kinetic barriers down! Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Yo, what? My ship! My crew! Oh my god, Ashley. Please do not die. Not the intro. Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? They damn well better. Ugh. I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttle. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. Bro, there is no time to argue. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Ashley, go. Now. Aye, aye.
Oh my god! Harmless now. But what's to stop them from like shooting up the the escape pods? Back in mix. Mayday! 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 This is SSV Normandy! God, my ship. We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy. Ah, shit. Come on, baby. Hold together. Hold together. I really hope Greg's garrison them escaped. Oh, yo. Wow. Hold on, I know this is a bad situation, but I'm sorry. It was look too good. Space. Oh, it's a terrible situation, but space! Ah, I love space. Okay, you know, gotta say Joker. Joker, you dumbass. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Bro. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack. Bro, we are about to die. We need to go. Watch the arm. That is. Oh, I probably broke this man's arm. I'm so sorry. We gotta go. We gotta live, bro. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Get the fuck out of here, Joker! God. Oh no. Oh my god. Are we dead? Oh. Our ship. No! Oh. oh my god! What a bad way to go out! Oh... Shepard! Shepard! No! Oh no! Oh my god! What are you sick? <laughs> what an opening, bro. Why you can just drop that on me? Oh, Shepard. <sighs> okay. So I know I just finished a game. Not even like 24 hours ago. But I've never actually gone through this. So we're gonna watch all of this. Just a recap. Just in case people are taking breaks in between the last video and this video. All scopes I've never seen this before. I wanna see it. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission, answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. 
A soldier to the core. Tough. Disciplined. Ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof. Which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues and a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Ash I wasn't interested in Liara. I had my eyes on someone else, but we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone, with the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. 
He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves. Mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base, and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead, it wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control, said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Caden was a good man, and a great soldier. But I had to choose, and I chose Ash. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Ash saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Caden's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we'd put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos, close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, 
there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Man, what an intro. They got some of the details wrong. I'm sure it was... They got, yeah, they got some of the details wrong, but overall, I really enjoyed that. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Hello? Like the Lazarus Pit from DC? Bro, they injected me with steroids or something, I don't know. Hey, but it's working though. Oh, that's painful. Look at that handsome man. I think the only thing I don't like is that his facial hair is not nearly as prominent as it was in Mass Effect 1. You know, I'm just gonna set the important face because I don't even remember what the characters were. My guy. Actually, hmm. Actually, you know, I just realized it's there in a YouTube video. So let me go back and look at that. And once I've, once I've gotten it and put it in, then I'll just skip to that part for y'all. So. Be right back. Alright, I think I got it. So, it said, let's uh. Nah, I like that skin tone. I 
like this nose. Man, these facial hair options are whack. I guess you just gotta stick with that. Where's my ears, though? I want to fix my ears. I think this is fine. Let me copy this code real quick just so I can make sure I still have it for a future. And confirm selection. Handsome man, you. Yeah, bro, I'm a soldier. Adrenaline rush, yeah, I remember this. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yep, a catchy shepherd. Welcome back into the mix, gamer. Something's wrong. It's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. My God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Is that Stephen? Damn it, Wilson! He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative, Shepard. Don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. I think I'm in love already. Wake up, Commander. It's a love at first sight type thing, you know? Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. There's a pistol in the locker on the other side of the room. Hurry! Come on, get up. Grab the pistol and armor from the locker. Bro. I don't have time to wait around. I got you, girl. Damn. Well, I look this good. This doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Hold on, real quick. Yeah, powers. Um, hmm. Bro, it's like, now that I'm older, and I've seen so much more media, I can recognize a lot of the voice actors that are in this. Like, Wilson, that's Steven, uh, forgive me if I mispronounce his last name, but Blum or Bloom? I forgot, I think it's Blum. But yeah, I recognize him. The man who plays Spike Spiegel, what a great guy. Ah... Uh... No equipment screen, that's fine. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is when they switched to thermal clips. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mix. Look out! Oh. <clears throat> Keep moving, we need to get to the shuttles. Oh, I forgot, all the powers on the same. I'm gonna have to change that. If there's a mod to change that, I want that mod. For real quick. Mining. I am going to put my 
Hold on. I'm gonna put you on eight. Put you on one. And then I'm gonna change. Put this on my mouse button. That way, anytime I activate or press my mouse button, I activate my power. Shepard, security makes a closing in on your position. Take. Yeah. Peek out. Yeah. Oh, such a bad shot. Cutting her off a lot by accident. Maybe it's because I'm moving too fast? I don't know. But man, that's spec two. Oh! Yo! They're getting lit up! Oh my goodness. We've been spotted. <clears throat> eh, eh, eh. Take the elevator down one floor. Hurry, get to the door, run. You're doing fine, Chef. Head to the end of the room and I'll fight for you. Chef, you can free me. I've got men closing in on my position. Huh? the group behind the coups oh no my shepherd is he's not cool with this at all oh oh I'm so sorry So real quick, only because this feels awkward for me, I think instead of, yeah, this would not be the bottom one, this would be the top one, that would probably work better for me. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Who are you? Are you with Miranda? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! It's a good shot. This must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Bro, nah. Ever since I woke up, someone's been telling me where to go and what to do. I need answers. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. 
You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. That's... I'm having some trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. That'd be handy. Alright, uh, check, uh... Oh, you can still move around? Okay. Falling back! Okay. Well, my ship looks kind of weird. Questions. What do you want to know? I'm gonna have to... You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. I think all the faces in this game look weird. <laughs> I remember when I first... Not when I first played it, but I went back for another playthrough. Mass Effect 2 had some weird facial animations. I'll probably just... just I'll probably get used to it. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Man, that's two years. I could, like, imagine that. You're just dead, gone for two years, and now you're pro. I... Shepard would have a really, really hard time wrapping his head around all that. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. I think for this game, like, I'm gonna just try it out, but... I think I might run a controller, because playing... I don't know, it just feels weird on mouse and keyboard, for a lack of better words. So, there we go. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind, you need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Alright. Uh, oh, man. A lot slower.
That sounds weird. I mean, not weird. I guess I get understand. Want to see some like appreciation for the work you do. And so there's like some bitterness there. I'm cut. I'm moving way too fast. So I'm cutting off dialogue like that. Or maybe, maybe it's not really too fast. It's... Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who he was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter his identity in any way, if he's somehow not the man he used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. Nice to know I'm not changing anywhere. Shepard, down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Okay, Wilson. Wilson! Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? Bro, that man is guilty as hell. I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. If she tried to help me, she did wake me up. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... Yeah. You can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. <laughs> overload the canisters you're right on top of, dog. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. No, no. You told me you were with the Alliance. I don't like being played for a sucker. I didn't lie to you, Commander. I was with the Alliance, before I joined Cerberus. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss, but after we've saved our butts, we're almost at the shuttle. Man. All right, so they not have? Do they not have hacked in this game anymore? But now, uh, Jacob never told Shepard that he wasn't. He was with the Alliance. I'm guessing that I'm. Uh, I'm guessing that was a dialogue option that could have been. Revealed if I ask more about him So I'll just like look over that Yeah, he definitely knows about service though. There are they're the people behind the coups and you know how he feels about people involved in that So yeah, he's man.
All right, hold on. I'm gonna go back to the uh, <laughs> the mouse and keyboard. Controller's fine enough. I I I like moving faster. Or not moving fast, but you know, like uh, I just have more movement. I guess I don't know how to explain it. This feels better, even though even though I am missing all my shots. Okay, so they still do have uh, hacking. Yep, that's this is me, Shepherd, Master Hacker. Love me my credits. Through here, we're almost at the Miranda, but you were damn dead. Damn, what the hell are you doing? My job, Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive, see what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, Miranda, I don't like you. You're cold. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Why are you British? Were you burnt? Were you, were you born in England? Were you born in England on Earth? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life, Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the survivors? What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Some might have survived, dog. Like, okay, yes, it's a Cerberus. Yes, my shepherd hates them. But at the same time, he's not just going to leave people behind to die. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Well, shit. I guess I can't. Go check. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I don't trust them. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. You thought that was shit was funny? That was very traumatic for me, man.
Before you meet with the elusive men, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. Well, he knew we that. It's just here did again. He's like, man, two years. The sooner we start, the sooner it's we It's a long ass done. time. Start with personal history. Okay. Lack of change in two years. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfying. And you Miranda. guys were responsible. Almost. I Let's wish they something. I wish they would bring that up. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Alenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? God, Caden. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> You know, I always. The man is oh. waiting for you in the other room. Waiting for you in the other room. Don't rush me. I always question how like places as big as the space station could ever be hidden away from like people. But then I remember. Wait a minute. Space is is a big ass place. You can hide stuff anywhere in there. It, it it's completely reasonable that unless somebody knew specifically, or rather, they knew to look here specifically, that they wouldn't be able to find this place, or any of these places. My armor, baby. I'm gonna keep it like that, cause I, uh, you know. Oh, yo. Yes. Can I talk to y'all? I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Shit, I guess not. Or rather, sh um, dang, I guess not. <laughs> Part of my French. Uh, I guess it makes sense that we'll be able to meet him face to face. I wouldn't be able to meet him face to face. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You're not my friend, bro. Stop asking me those questions. You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth ate its sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. 
Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition Jesus, of harvest. how? Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Okay, so first, I will say that it makes sense why the Reapers will be interested in humanity specifically. Because as far as we know, nobody has been able to like beat one of them, much less kill one of them. So the fact that we did, it's probably like a really noteworthy thing. That said, one, how are they able, how do they know? Like aren't the rest of them trapped in dark space? And two, how is it that all these human colonies have been disappearing? The fact that hundreds of thousands of people were people hundreds of thousands of people have just gone missing and nobody cares? That's just really wild to me. But then then again, it does make sense why that's happening and nobody with the Citadel or the Alliance is taking it seriously or trying to act to towards preventing it. It makes sense why they would go towards bringing Shepard back. Cause he's the one who was investing in that stuff personally, even when everybody else around everybody else around him was like, oh no, dog, you're tripping. It would that's it. Leave it be. Wait, that's Sovereign this? was trying to harvest. Okay, no, yeah. Ari asked that one. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. They're rebuilding, still stretched too thin to waste resources. There's a consequence of one of my threat. decisions. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Hmm. Man, and, and again, I want to make it really clear, my shepherd, the way he feels about service, he hates them for what they did to him and his squad. Really, that entire unit that was involved in the coups, what they did to Tombs after the fact, he, and what they did to Admiral Kohoku, like, he doesn't trust Cerberus at all. They're a terrorist organization. And a racist one at that. And we all know how Shepard feels about racists. That said, he also understands the importance behind stopping the Reapers. As far as he was aware, it was just his crew plus Anderson who were like serious about doing so. To, and 
the fact that all these colonies are disappearing and nobody's done anything about it, that's suspect to him. He's like, yo, why isn't the Alliance doing anything about it? Come to find out, it's a consequence of his decision that he made at the end of Mass Effect 1. They're still recovering from the attack that decimated their fleet with Sovereign. So he's like, okay, I can't count on the Alliance, Citadel, well, we all know how the Council are, or where, rather, so we can't rely on the Council. Maybe I do have to work with Sirius to get this done. But first and foremost, okay, let me go see if there's anything, like any weight behind what they're saying. But I don't know, it's just, this is really big for Shepard. Only reason why he's even doing, like, the, the fact that it's Cerberus who did all this, or doing all this, but if it, first he needs to check this out. There's proof that the Reapers are involved in. He's gonna have to put aside how he feels for the greater good. Cause that's just the kind of guy he is. He needs to stop the Reapers. And if Cerberus is the means towards doing so, then that's what he has to do. There you go. Hello, can't talk to you guys now. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. No, yeah, thank you for resurrecting me, dog. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. And you know what? It's fair for her to say that because she presumably had friends amongst those people. People that she had to leave behind for Shepard. Someone who she's only heard about until now. Mind she has worked on him for the last two years, but she never like met the man himself until like, you know, she was up and moving. So she's still trying to uh, gauge whether or not he was worth all those lives and all that time, all that money invested into him. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. 100% the latter. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. She obviously doesn't want to uh, talk. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. Oh? We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Damn, just trying to, you know... Because not my crew. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Honestly, you're too much of a square to be evil. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. They're a terrorist group, bro. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent Starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. You sound like Garrus. The old Garrus. I'm about to be your teacher too, bro. Just from now on, call me Master Shepherd. No, um, Shepherd Sensei. Yep, that there it is. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. 
Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, sir. All right, let's uh, what the hell are these people? But anyways, let's uh, let's boogie, let's bounce. Oh. Yeah, start level three. Some credits, a lot of points. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear, and we've got no target to go after. How do you feel taking orders from me? Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Well, shit. Well, some I can still be alive. And if we can help anybody, save anybody, that should be like our priority. They might be able to tell us what can happen, or what happened rather. But beyond that, I guess just find some evidence. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. What's up? Alright, my shepherd is growing on me. He looks good. Oh, new weapons. Oh, do not want to do that? Uh, danger. I'll probably use. Yeah, saw rifle. Sniper. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Who probably going back? Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. This is eerie. I don't like the noises this is making. Not at all. Alright. Uh, hello? Strange. Security systems were disabled at the other cold. Got him. Make activity. Oh, I am out of here. Shoot them before they take out the shield. Check up why you already down. <clears throat> Enemy was and this game, they're so weak. Oh, I missed the shot. I'm dead, aren't I? Maybe not. Whoa, whoa. bam, bitch. Don't you know who I am, bro? I'm the greatest sniper in the oh. 
Oh, this gun shoots terrible. Okay, burst fire. Y'all get up. Bang, let me hear the fight with my soul. Sniper came in handy though. Oh, wall safe. Ah, oh, suck up that is. Bang. Best hacker in the West. I see you, Shepard. Oh. <coughs> Warning, hostile force is <coughs> here. We go. What was that? <coughs> Die. Salvage. Man, this is. I don't really don't like this wind I'm hearing. This, hello? Oh, Corians. Stop right there. Frosa. You said you'd let me handle this. Uh, Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Yo, it's my wife. Uh, yo, Tally. Remember when I gave you that get data, Tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I didn't have a choice, bro. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me, it was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Why did he come here? Why did he come here? Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Sorry if you hear any noise. That's definitely my water bottle. Also, might just be the other keyboard. I'm so sorry. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Yeah. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. You know, I'm not even going to ask why she hates Cerberus. They're literally a racist terrorist group. I understand. I hate Cerberus too. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. I love you. Come back. Ah, Pally. Oh my goodness. My heart, it did Be like careful, a little, Shepherd. it There's fluttered. A squad of security drones up huh? ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Shut the fuck up, Jacob. She's talking to me. Thanks, Sally. Alert. Whoa, whoa, System whoa. System not designed whoa. for special <laughs> Engaged. Okay, so I'm actually gonna change. <laughs> this is the last time. I hopefully, hopefully, I hopefully it is. Um. Okay. So. We're actually gonna put a. Uh, uh, where is it? What or? Um. Put that 
on the top mouse button. As far as powers goes, we're gonna put, oh wait no, we're gonna put Adrenaline Rush on too, cause I keep pressing it by accident. Or rather, anytime I see enemy, I just instinctively press two. The game's gonna activate that for some reason. I don't know why, but it's, I am. So that's what we're gonna go with. And I'll put this on one, I guess. Oh, no, I didn't. Ah, I grabbed the wrong one. One thing I don't like about thermal clips is how little I have. I really need more for my sniper. Use overload on him. Oh. Hold on now. Jacob? No. should have expected this come on we can still catch them thank you for warning me tally i really appreciate it and you come join my crew please oh no 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 I think I got this. Oh, no, never mind. want to get to veto first get your squad into cover and i'll open the loading bay doors we'll take cover by the doors shepherd you take point miranda you, i mean I, I was thinking it but you can't be saying shit like that miranda i guess i'm out of ammo here all right let's uh let's go take point shepherd we'll cover the door going to cover on it Oh my god, they are getting fucked up. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is, that is terrible. I am so sorry. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Watch your mouth. Overload will take out their shield. Uh, 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 
I remember how to fight you. Yeah, ring around the rosy, bitch. Have you missed those sniper shots you guys? Very careful. Oh, it went through? You can't do that. I'm so cold. Rest in peace, y'all. This right. is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. I'm just glad you're alright. Before we do that, that looks like we're out for that loot. Give me some guns. Some guns. Power cell. Wall save. Give me that sh money, honey. This looks interesting. This looks interesting, says Shepard. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect, safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters, no swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming, have to hide. You're good now, bro. We're here. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms oh. coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Tell us what happened, bro. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. A what? Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. How do you get away? Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. 
or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Both are viable answers. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Have the Collectors ever been... or the Omega-4 Relay... were they either of those ever mentioned in Mass Effect 1? I can't remember. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Thank you, Vitor. Or Vitor, rather. I know you're extremely traumatized right now, and I apologize for questioning like this, but it was not, it, it, we had no other choice. I said, I do appreciate your help. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please... Just let me take him. You should join us, Talon. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. What's that sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. Bro, this isn't even the question. I'm not gonna betray my homegirl. Come on now. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Oh, please be careful out there and get space. Like, Koreans, if they even take, like, a shot or two through their suit, even if it's, like, non-lethal, the bacteria it, can, it exposes them to, that itself can still be lethal. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Koreans forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch, given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Every friend pays off, dickhead. Do you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Interesting humans. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? Well, we are answered earlier, They're probably because of Reapers. me. It could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? Fair enough. Or rather, a good question. What are the collectors getting from these deals? 
The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I can't do it alone, bro, even if I do agree. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I had a good team already. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Ashley Williams? Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. What about Rex? Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Oh, good for Rex. Tally, she already told me what she's doing, but I do want to hear what he has to say. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. And Liara? Where's Liara to Sony? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. You can't be trusted, dickhead. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Man, two years, bro. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Bro, stop. And mind you, it is a good suggestion. Again, my Shepherd hates Cerberus. He doesn't trust the elusive man. So anything he they suggest, He's always he's always gonna consider it as like yo, what angle are you playing with this? I haven't even started, and you're telling me what to do. I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Joker, you son of a bitch. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. <laughs> but they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. Bro, you only told me last night. Choker, they're a terrorist group, bro. And racist. Commander. I guess we'll have to give her a name. Bro, you already know what we're naming it. 
There's only one name. Yep. Man. Ah, I got a ship again, bro. Oh, this is great. It's not the same. It can never be the same. The first Normandy, she died. But this, this is a new beginning. Look at me in this hoodie, bro. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. Man. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Good point. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Wait, an AI, not a VI? Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay. Galaxy map. Private terminal. Armory. Elevator. Okay. What else? Captain's quarters. Tech lab. All right, but so before we do anything else, I have to go to the armory. Oh, oh cheers. Oh. Guess I don't have any other weapons yet. Which is unfortunate. Oh, look at this. Uh, the veteran. Professor. Oh, uh, SSTG or STG. Archangel.
the warlord. Massive thief. Okay, but I don't read messages. Oh, dead. What's good, bro? Okay, but. Oh, hack it. What's good? Okay, this is the LC. I remember this one. 